have a man here in our company named Casey Newsom. He's a uh, stage maintenance man by trade. However, among his many volunteer jobs, he's the overseer of our coffee counter here on the set. And uh, every week or so, Casey puts a different little sign next to the sugar bowl for all of us here to enjoy. Uh, sometimes these little signs are uh, funny, and sometimes they're wise, sometimes they're very pointed, and uh, other times they're sheer nonsense. However, whatever they are, they always seem to make their point. So much so that I have uh, borrowed two of them from him, and I want to pass them on to you. And here's the first one. Short course in human relations. Five most important words. I am proud of you. Four most important words. What is your opinion? Three most important words, if you please. Two most important words. Thank you. Least important word, I the woman you are about to see in our story tonight is a very famous New York stage star. Her name is Vivian King. So you're happy with the rewrite on the play? Mmm, I love it. Mm How'd Gertie like it? Oh, you know, Gertie, she laughs at card tricks if I produce them. That's the proper reaction for a loving wife. You know, it's been a long time since Miss Vivian King has felt so good about going into a new show. Oh, I just love it. And you. And the whole world. Oh, honestly, the cookie, you asked me if I'm happy about the show. I am so happy. I only wish we could start rehearsals today. That's all, madame. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, it's darling. You know, I've got some absolutely wonderful ideas about casting. Said she modestly. <laughs> now, cookie. Is this half really me? The you is to you, and I'm buying it for you. You are? You know, I'll just take it, too. <laughs> Mademoiselle? Come in. Uh, have you given the part of David any thought? Oh, I think I must have cast that part over my mind at least a thousand times. Oh? Oh, it's a wonderful character. So New Yorkish. You know there are quite a few leading men in this town who could do justice to that part? Mm hmm. Bill Steers, for one, and George Hamilton. And even Johnny London. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think of Phil Steers? Oh, I don't know. What do you think of Rig Park? Rig Park? Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> not much. Have you ever seen him? Mm-hmm. Mm, dreadful movie once. Why? I think he'd be excellent for David. <laughs> oh, there's certainly no need importing someone all the way from Hollywood to play the part of a New Yorker. Well, Rig's not just someone from Hollywood. Tell me, what's wrong with Phil Spears? Nothing. I just think Rigger's little name better, that's all. You better gather up your bonnets, Miss Martell. There's going to be an ugly scene. Now, qu'est-ce que c'est name value? Well, he has made a number of pictures. Mm -hmm. Young Dr. Darling does it. Young Dr. Darling does it again. A young Dr. Darling goes to the seacoast, and then the houseboat. All right, all right. Uh -huh. Young Dr. Darling series was very popular. Yes, I know, I know. Good day, Miss King. Yes, Miss Martell. Thank call. you very much. And Rig would draw a completely different audience from yours. Mm -hmm. uh, just a minute, I'll get it for you. With a name like that, I'll just bet he'd draw a different audience. Go right ahead. I'll get the front door. Rig, dig, jig. Where do they find those ridiculous labels? You'll have to ask my grandfather. Really, you have to ask my great-grandfather. You see, it's an old family name. Rig Parks? Yes. I came up with Mr. Cook. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh... Well, would you excuse me, please, for just a moment? Of course. doing here? Waiting to meet you. Oh, came all the way from Neverland just to meet me? Well, why not? You've already signed him, haven't you, Cookie? Yes. You might have told me. You saved me a lot of breath and yourself the price of a hat. Oh, no, 
now is this. No. Vivian has a few thousand words on the subject, but they all boil down to this. I think it was rotten of you, Mr. Carl oh, Hunt. It is true, you are the producer of this show. But I have to act with a gentleman every night, twice on Wednesdays and Saturdays. You might have consulted me, you know. Well, I had to grab him right away. He had a picture of him. <laughs> Young Dr. Darling meets Ma Kettle. He's a fine actor. I am sure he is. Goodbye, Cookie. Well, aren't you going to come out and meet him? No, I am not. You may tell him I have seen him on the wide, wide screen, and I find him ducky. Vivian, don't be like this. I am mad, Mr. Cook. You've been a bad boy, and you know it. Oh, don't be mad, Vivi. Shall I be hurt? I could be good and hurt, you know. We're supposed to be good friends. Well, thank you, no. I'll be mad. It's more fun. Vivian, you must at least come out and meet your leading man. It's only professional courtesy. Your hat, Mr. Cook. What am I going to do with it? I wouldn't ask that question of me right now. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Park. Cookie tells me we're going to be working together. Didn't you know? Oh. Gesundheit. Sorry. Oh. Gesundheit. Thank, thank you. I, I, You're not catching cold, no, are you? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. I like the play very much, Miss King, and I'm happy to be in it with you. I've admired your work for a long time. Well, thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I seldom go to movies, so I'm afraid I can't return the compliment. Well, that's a break for me. My movie career hasn't been very distinguished. Oh, you're too modest. Not at all. I'm a pretty good actor. Yes, so Mr. Cook tells me. Well, I must say goodbye now, Mr. Oh? Oh, I'm sorry. Gesundheit. I, I have to... <laughs> Gesundheit. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Vivi, you are coming now, Mr. Yes, screaming Mimi. <laughs> Vivi, you stay at the window for this, and mm -hmm. Mr. Parks, you face the mirror and continue to tie your bow tie. Yeah. All right. Nice and easy now. Yeah. Why did they have to make this a formal affair? Obviously, Edith must have a new dress. I wish I had one of those clip-on bow ties. Any man who clips on a bow tie is no man of mine. Well, how's it go today, son? Uh, they're going to make beautiful music together on stage. But off. He still keeps the light Missouri between them. Off state, I don't care. It's what happens here that sells the tickets. Darling, you're a snob. And David, you're a rotter. Sam, I hate that line. We'll get you a new one, dear. All right, thanks. Uh, Miss King, why don't you just uh, drop the line altogether? Do it with a look. I can catch it here in the mirror. It'll be more effective that way. Oh? Is it all right with you, Sam? Anything you want, baby. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Parks. It would be better, I guess. Did she see Winchell's column? I don't know. She hasn't been talking to anybody. She's still burning, Cookie. And the players are hit, you'll forget you didn't want him. It isn't that she didn't want him. It's the way that she got him. David, the printers want to know the date. It's the 5th of June, I believe. The date of the wedding, our wedding. And then David crosses to her and she ties his tie. She ties his tie. Oh, honey, you better send out for a real talented girl who can tie one of those things. We'll do it with mirrors. All right. Okay, baby. Go ahead. Yeah. There is going to be a wedding, isn't there, David? I hope so. I love to kiss the bride. And David kisses her. Oh, David. And he kisses her again. David. And they kiss. Will you take this... Will you think about seri seriously about us? I'd love to. And then they kiss again. Sam, this gets awfully kissy. Couldn't we cut out a baker's dozen or so, hmm? Uh, cut my salary, my wrist, but please don't cut my kisses. Sam? Well, there's got to be an abundance of it, Vivi. It's the payoff of the second act. Well, I guess so. Oh, no, it's I... coming along fine. I'm very happy. Uh, well, thank you. That's it for today. Oh, well, good night, Sam. Good night, Mr. Scott. Good night, good night. Good night, Mr. Scott. Vivi. Yes? Gertie's coming into town for dinner. Won't you join us? Sorry. Wait a minute, Vivi. We're meeting Jerry Andrews afterwards. He wants to talk about his new play. And I want you to read it before I sign the option on it. Why? Why? Because I want you to do it, of course. Well, let's get this one on its feet first. Hmm? Vivi. Yes. I didn't give that item to Winchell, you know. What item? But didn't you see it? No. I thought maybe that's what you were miffed about. Now, you know very well why I'm miffed, and the word is still mad. Do you have it? Bottom of the column, last paragraph. 
Your latest reports on the new Vivian King play are that her leading man, Hollywood actor Rig Parks, may just tie up the whole thing with a pink ribbon. You must be good. P.S. Vivi's not speaking to him. Come, come, Vivi. Competition's food for the gods. I do speak to Mr. Parks daily. You know, Walter is very seldom wrong. I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you put him straight on the matter. Good night. Give my best to Gertie. Why do they have to make this a formal affair? Well, obviously, Edith must have a new dress. I wish you had one of those clip-on bow ties. How's it going today, Sam? That's the first day without scripts. It's rough, you know. There is going to be a wedding, isn't there? I hope so. I love to kiss the bride. Oh, uh, oh sorry. Did you know? I'm in, sorry. Did you know in prep school I was? Gesundheit. I was known as a kissy bandit. What's she up to? <coughs> so sorry. Oh, you you do, you just have to excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm so... What's the matter, darling? I don't know. I haven't got a cold. No. I don't think so. Oh, what is it? I tell you, I don't know. I... I see. Well, uh, what do you think it is? Well, it... It, it, it feels sort of like an itching and a tickling all up here and through my nose, you know? I remember having had it once as a child. Uh, someone sent me a rabbit for Easter. A live one, you know? It was an awfully cute little thing, but... Turned out I was allergic to it, and so they had to give me shots for it. And, yes, I, I must be allergic to something. Ah, now let me think. What could it be? I don't know. Oh, Vivi, this isn't worthy of you. What, what? Feeling any better? Oh, yes, thank you. Good, good. <laughs> yes, I'll get some water. <laughs> I thought it might be. I'm allergic to Mr. Parks. He, he, he makes me sneeze. All right, all right. I give up. You win. This is sheer madness. I'll replace him right away. No, no. What? Well, you, you, you do no such thing. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he, he stays. Well, he's far too good in the part. And, well, if you think I'm going to let you replace him now and have everyone saying the living king was afraid to walk on stage with a little competition when well, you're wrong... Uh, he stays, Cookie. I give up. I just give up. This is all too devious to me. Then what is it you want me to do? What exactly are you trying to pull with all this? I'm not trying to pull. Good heavens. Good, Good heavens. You really are allergic to him. Honorable producer. Vivian, I had to stop by to apologize. I thought you had a plan of food to get rid of Rig. I had no idea you were really sick. I am not really sick. Dr. Walter was just here and he says I'm fine. Fine. As far as he could tell. Oh, Cookie, Dr. Walter Horan is the finest physician in this city. Darling, hmm. what you need is a psychiatrist. Oh, Cookie, it's a simple allergy. When the leading lady is allergic to the leading man, it is not simple, not to the producer. Well, I'll get over it. I've got to get over it, because he is not going to be replaced. You cannot take shots for Rig like you did for the Easter Bunny. Well, I don't know why not. You think of this day of wonder drugs, someone would come up with a <laughs> anti-Rig pill. Have you asked yourself why Rig makes you sneeze? Mm hmm I suppose there's something in his chemical makeup that I'm allergic to. Like, uh, talent? Oh, no jokes, Cookie. You know, you are not one of my favorite people these days. I'm not joking. I know something about psychosomatic allergies. And I say that your resentment of Rig has manifested itself into a sneeze. And I tell you that it's his biological makeup, not my psychological state. I'll get over it. Just give me time. With exposure comes immunity. What? With exposure comes immunity. Yes. That's right. 
you know, as a child, I remember I couldn't understand why they had to give me shots for my allergy. And so the doctor very carefully explained the whole thing to me. Now, according to what he said, all I have to do about this Parks allergy is to spend enough time with him, and little by little, I will build up an immunity to him. Simple. And so, Mr. Parks, if we are to work together, I must build up a resistance to you. Now, to do this, uh, we will have to see as much of each other outside of rehearsals as possible. Well, now, feel free to call on me for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, thank you, I will. All three of them. Uh, shall we start with breakfast tomorrow? Fine. At 7.30? Ouch. Oh, too early. No, 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 no. no. Fighting him. Who's fighting? I think he's very nice. But deep, deep down, you want to get rid of him. Oh, I don't. Why would I want to? I'm a good actress. I can hold my own. If Rig is good, it's good for the play. If the play is good, it's good for me. That's what you say. Mm -hmm. And you no doubt think you believe it. But deep, deep down... Deep, deep, deep down. I really like him. You're lying to yourself. No, I'm not. I like him, I like him, I like him. You're sick. No. I just might love him. Love? Love. I have spent practically every waking hour with the man for the past two weeks. He's cheery at breakfast and he's stimulating at work. He's relaxing at lunch. He's hilarious at cocktails. He's wise at dinner. He's divine at dancing. Of course I'm in love with him. I'd be out of my mind not to be. You are sick. To marry a movie star and live happily ever after in sunny Beverly Hills. You mean you'd move to California? Well, from California moved to me, I don't think so. Sick, sick, sick. Sam, I'm replacing him. Madam give her okay? Madam doesn't know. Now she thinks she's in love with him. She's even thinking of moving to California. Relax, you've got her in the run of the play contract. Sam, boy, there will be other plays, and I want her in them. Well, then you'd better be careful how you ask the boyfriend. Rig. Hi, Cookie. Vivian and I are stepping out in the town tonight. Rig, I want to talk to you. Oh, go ahead. What's that? Hmm? Oh, it's my rabbit's foot. Rabbit's foot? Uh, don't laugh. I've had it for years. It brought me a lot of luck. I'm sorry. Well, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? What? Oh, uh... Nothing, nothing. Well, you came in here all steamed up about something. Well, as a matter of fact, Brig, old boy, I think we'd better put a time limit on Vivian's recovery, if you don't mind. After all, I've got the show to be gone. Sure, Cookie, I understand. So, uh, shall we say, if Vivian hasn't stopped sneezing over you by the end of the week, we'll call in a replacement? Fair enough. Then Friday's the deadline. Sure hate doing this to you, Brig, old boy. Good luck. Oh, uh... Don't lose your rabbit's foot. I won't. I'm counting on it now. So am I. Handy ring, Phil. <laughs> oh, Cookie, you're wonderful. <laughs> better take one before the run through. This is it. Yeah, I better take something. It's the end of the week, and I haven't proved any at all, have I? No. Too bad, baby. You're sweet, Cookie. Well, I was going with Rick. Good luck for the rehearsal. Yeah. I wanted to wish you good luck, Rig. Thanks, Cookie. And thanks for sending me the extra rabbit's foot. Oh, I just wanted to make doubly sure. You think of everything, Cookie. Oh, and uh, here's your plane ticket back to Hollywood. Oh. 
Just in case things don't go too well today. Well, with two of these, how can I miss? You can. David, the printers want to know the date. The 5th of June, I believe. The date of the wedding? Our wedding? There is going to be a wedding, isn't there? I hope so. I love to kiss the bride. David. Oh. 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 oh, I'm sorry, Red. Cookie, it's just no use of my going on. I just... I, 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 I don't think they deep down inside of me. I'm... I'm just a man. Twice as bad. Vivian! Don't come in here! Vivian, I want to talk to you. You stay right where you are, Mr. Park. I better still go away. Please, Ray, go away. I'm afraid Cookie must be right. Way down deep inside, I resent you. What? I guess. I don't know, but go away. Vivian, don't be ridiculous. Come uh, here. Uh, 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 what? 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 That? Oh, ironically enough, my so-called good luck charm. in the park. I'm sorry about Rig, but after all, Phil was no, your no, first no, choice. No. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> huh? You know what all the sneezing business is about. Huh? He, he wears two rabbits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 You all right now? Yes, Charlie, I'm <laughs> fine. Go on, tell him about your good luck, John. Oh, well, he already knows about it. What? Yeah, he saw I was wearing a rabbit's foot last week, so today he sent me another one to make doubly sure. Oh. So there's a villain in the piece, Cookie Legree. Well, can't blame a boy for trying. You are excused, Mr. Cook. Vivi. Go beat up on little Eva. Oh, Vivi, all fair in love and show business, you know. I <laughs> know. I'm not really mad at it. I'm too happy. And you know something? We just may let you make the lunch out of us. Huh? Well, it'll be a chore. Oh, you. But you know something? I might do just that. <laughs> oh, darling. <coughs> oh, no! It's a draft. Believe me, I'm not the least bit allergic to you. Here is Miss Young. John, here is the second little sign that I borrowed from Casey's coffee counter, and it says, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Thanks again, Casey. You're welcome, honey. Mm -hmm. Good night. We'll see you next week.